Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Usually on the bop stop, we like to focus on music that we like. Music that we think is good and that we want other people to listen to and enjoy. Because hopefully, you know, if we can recommend you just one song or album from an artist you haven't heard of before that you end up enjoying, uh, you know, we've done our job. You know, you've been exposed to some new cool music that you end up enjoying. That's awesome. But I, I couldn't help myself with this new Maroon 5 record because it's it's so bad. Everything about this record is just terrible. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't, it's, it's really hard to describe because the, it's such a nothing record. Nothing happens for basically the entire record. Uh, the production isn't interesting. Adam Levine's vocals are not interesting for uh, bad reasons. The features are boring. Just everything about this record is so bland and standard that there's nothing to it. Like, at least on previous Maroon 5 records... There, there was at least like a hook or something that sounded kind of catchy or maybe a melody that was like all right or maybe even there was a lyric that like caught your attention or something just something but that's that's just not the case on this record the thing is, is like some of these tracks i think actually could have been saved if levine gave a decent performance on them um there's production here that I wouldn't say I hate, but it just sounds incredibly boring and bland most of the time, and Levine's vocals and the way he uses them on the record is nails on a chalkboard. His delivery is just so off the mark on so many of these songs. His voice is just piercing and sharp sounding and it just destroys the record case in point the song convince me which features her it, it, the song is completely tolerable for the first half because it's just her on the first half of the track but once Levine comes in the song it just becomes unlistenable <laughs> his vocals just don't work on any of these songs. All of these tracks are super hook heavy. They, you know, they repeat the chorus a million times and the chorus is just most of the song. That's not necessarily a bad thing. There's a lot of pop albums that are mainly just hooks and they are fantastic. The problem with Jordy is that all the hooks are insanely boring and bland, and they just completely fail to catch your attention in any meaningful way. The features just can't save this thing at all. Um, Maroon 5 continues to show that they have no clue how to use their features. Case in point, Megan Thee Stallion is featured on Beautiful Mistakes, the first track on the record, and she is just completely misused. It's, it's genuinely one of the most out-of-place features I've ever heard, as Megan Thee Stallion commands this incredibly forceful, powerful presence, and she's placed on an incredibly down-tempo, boring, bland pop track with literally nothing going on to complement her style or sound. If I didn't know better, I would say Adam Levine and the rest of Maroon 5 literally had just never heard Megan Thee Stallion uh, even rap before. Like, they, they never heard one of her songs. They never even heard her in the studio. Further on the record, we have the track Remedy, which has some incredibly clean, bland production, as is typical for these tracks, except they decided to have a Stevie Nicks feature on this track. Because, you know, when you have a clean, glossy pop track, you want Stevie Nicks on it because that's what Stevie Nicks is known for. Clean, glossy, boring pop tracks. <sighs> I 
Adam Levine's vocals are especially bad on the track Seasons, where he has this specific rhythm to his vocal delivery that just clashes so badly with his whiny delivery. I don't understand what he was thinking, but it just sounds terrible. Also, who chose the snare that sounds like a wet fart? Who did it? Please, please stop choosing that snare. The lyrics on this record are also just so bland and boring. And it's like they went onto Google and just searched how to write lyrics. For example, on the track Echo, you have the line, Novocaine, thought I couldn't feel no pain, but it still feels like ooh when I hear your name. I can't escape trying but i can't escape literally the most like generic possible way to describe that you feel numb because a relationship's over the closing track to the record memories is maybe the worst song on the album the entire song lyrically is about remembering those we've lost and focusing on the good times we had with them rather than uh their passing but um oof Despite what should be a very bittersweet end to this album, uh, it is ruined by, again, the terrible writing, and also uh, Maroon 5 putting audio of fans cheering them on during a live concert over the track, which makes it sound like you don't actually give a shit about what you're talking about, and you only care that you are successful and popular and that people are cheering you on. Couldn't you try a bit harder to not come off like you only care about your own success? C couldn't you try at least? Please. The bonus tracks on the record are also pretty awful, uh, especially the one with Jason Derulo on it. That one is whew, really bad, but I'm not really going to go over them because... I don't want to, and also I doubt that anyone could actually get this far into the record without turning it off, so uh, who cares? Overall, though, this is just a terrible record. There's no creativity, there's no originality, the lyrics are horribly written, the production's terrible, the features are horribly misused. Just everything about this is bad. The only thing positive I really have to say about this record is that I have heard worse. But not by much. Anyway, I'd, uh, I'd give this record a 1 out of 10. Don't listen to it. It's awful. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, please do the like, comment, and subscribe thing. If you enjoyed this content, um, we have plenty more like it on the channel. Did you subject yourself to this record? Uh, if you did, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Maybe you found uh, things to enjoy about it that I didn't. And uh, hey, power to you! You know, don't don't let my cynical opinion take away from your enjoyment of this album. If there are any other records you'd like us to check out, please let us know. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. If I didn't know better, I would say Adam Levine and the rest of the Maroon 5 guys. That's a fucking... A Maroon 5 guys. It's a new restaurant. I just created it. Uh, fucking 5 guys. You owe me royalties.